Hey, it's Joe Lines from the Automator, and in today's uh, video, I want to discuss just being productive, not actually writing code. But um, you know, the main thing I do with AutoHockey is do stuff so I'm more efficient. And so I'm going to every once in a while squeeze in a new video here uh, that's going to talk about just how to be more productive, things like that. Uh, my big thing, the, the biggest one if I ever had for anything, say this is you know, a, a must do, is to work from a list, right? And, and I'll, I'll show you. Now, um, I'll show you my, my list, and let's see, you can kind of read the stuff. It's very, very important that you write them in a cryptic handwriting that no one else can read. Um, I'm being sarcastic there. But, um, it, uh, you know, just, it doesn't have to be legible to anyone else other than you, uh, unless you're sharing it with someone. But um, it is a great way to stay organized. And what I do is um, I'll have, like, my, my things to do either today or the next one to three days. And, you know, that's what's on my list. And then every morning, usually... For that day, I'll prioritize, okay, here's what I'm doing first, start on that. Um, and there's also a great book from Ryan Tracy called Eat That Frog, and he highly recommends you do the toughest thing first, right? Um, do what you don't want to do first, and you get it out of the way, and the rest of the day is easy, right? So I'm, I'm a big believer in that. However, what I would also say is find the sweet spot as to how you're productive, and uh, use that sweet spot for doing the hardest things, right? If you need to be able to focus and pay attention to what you're doing and you're doing some really strong, you know, complex stuff with coding um, and need to have no distractions, like for me, that's the morning, you know, not right when I wake up because I need a little time to get up, right? But um, usually around for me, like, because uh, I get up really early usually. Uh, so like at, at a, I get up around 4.30 or 5 often. And then by like 6, then I'm mentally ready for that. And then, um, so six to like eight, I'm doing that later in the day. Um, I'll start burning through my emails. The thing I'll say is this works great for making sure you get stuff done right away. It helps you prioritize. However, um, we often have bigger projects that we need to work on. And if you only work from this kind of a list, you'll probably never end up working on those things that don't, don't need to get done right away. So what I do for that is I'll use my calendar and in my calendar, I'll put in a recurring thing, like let's say every Tuesday from 10 to 11 or whatever. So, you know, I pick a time, have it recurring, and then depending on how much time I need to dedicate it to it, I'll make that many uh, meetings, so to speak, you know, calendar blocks um, during the week. And, and it's, you know, assigned to that. And you can, you know, you can let yourself bump one, but you can't keep bumping everyone, right? Because you got to have time to work on those bigger things. Otherwise, you'll never move forward. And it's a shame because those bigger ones are often strategy type things, right? And they're, they're bigger ones that you're like, yeah, someday I'd like to get to this. Well, if you, you know, if you're always working on your business instead of in your business, no, in your business instead of on your business, uh, in your business, meaning doing all the stuff that you need to do, but not working on my business, seeing how I can grow, right? Working from this is a great, great way. Um, there are some you can find, I think Brian Tracy and a couple others talk about prioritizing with different letters and a b and c and working on these and it, it just to me it's it's way too complicated um so i just do the approach i just mentioned best thing about working from a list is the crossing off the items on the list and it's such a satisfactory feeling i can tell you when you have something that you uh you actually did and realize you look down it's not on your list you know write it on the list and then cross it off and i'll tell you it, it's just a great feeling so um, working from lists are amazing. Keep at it and uh, keep going. Cheers.